What's up, guys? It's your boy Bounce Back Bailey, and we are back at it again. Um, so you guys caught me on a good day today because I've been having some issues with my Active Trader. So I had to click Setup, Reset Workspace to Default, and essentially start this bad boy from scratch again and rebuild my Active Trader setup. Um, now, before we get started, of course, you already know I have to mention, please join us if you have not already. We are Option Snipers. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or just type in Option Snipers with two S's on your browser. And, and just join us. I mean, why not? We've been printing. Um, I know a lot of traders that have been hit really, really hard. Today is 1112020, one, one, two, zero, two, zero, right? Uh, 11 one, right? We're right before the elections. I mean, I know a lot of people whose whole portfolios have been clapped. Meanwhile, a lot of our members have actually had some of the best weeks they've ever had. Um, so please join us. Uh, we do a Discord every day. Where we're live trading with you. We are not imposters. We are at the top of the rosters, right? That starting spot. We deserve to be in your lineup. So with that said, um, I, I just want to get back into it. Um, so we've already reset our um, TOS layout to defaults. Uh, so from here, we're going to go to charts. Um, everything is from scratch, right? So you guys are going to learn a lot about Thinkorswim and how to set up your Thinkorswim to your preference, really. Um, now, before we go into setting up Active Trader, um, I want to just explain what Active Trader is. So essentially what this is, is it kind of gives you all of the tools necessary to execute your trades for the most part. Um, all in one place. Uh, so right next to your chart. So as the chart is moving, your active trader, you can buy or sell your contracts, um, you know, as you like. You can scale out of them as you like while watching levels, right? Some of us are great with automated trades. Other of us, like, they like to be hands-on. Um, so this is for my hands-on traders. You're gonna understand how to use active trader to your advantage and let you, you know, be able to just, just have your hands all, all up in your contracts and making sure that you uh, take profit and really just win the day because that's what we're all here to do. Whether stocks go up or down, we can print um, if we have the tools necessary. Um, so what we're gonna click first of all on the top right, uh, you'll see this little rectangle. We click that, we need two rectangles, not one. Uh, this is also how you can create four rectangles or I don't know, let's do nine, why not? All right, um, so you can monitor as many charts as you want. If you have dual monitors, tri monitors, quad monitors, I mean, you can you can have all the monitors layered out um, with things like this, uh, just depending on how how entangled you are in the markets. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna use two for now. Okay, so um, we have our, our essentially blank canvas right here. Um, we have our two cells now. And uh, this cell right here is going to be our active trader cell. Um, now, another thing that I do, um, you have your toolbar to the left right here? Yeah. Okay, get rid of a bunch of this stuff. So like Trader TV, who cares? Live news, that's why you're on the Zoom. Uh, so you click the menu and click delete gadget. Okay. Um, I do like to have uh, like quick charts up. Um, it's up to you if you want to like have some quick charts. If you do, down here you'll see this plus sign. You can click that. Go to quick chart. All right. So let's say I always want to have um, I don't know a uh, spy up or something, or I don't know Apple. Maybe I'm keeping an eye on something. You know, um, I can have my little my quick charts uh, just kind of down here with um, like anything I'm looking at. Usually I like to have like uh, SPX and like the Qs up right here. Um, and then the real thing that this is the best for is we're going to um, add watch list. So we're going to click that plus sign and go to watch list. Okay. Now um, click this uh, where it says default and you're going to go to create watch list. You following me? Yep. Awesome. Um, we're going to call this watch list name contracts. Okay. And what this box list is going to be specifically for is any options contracts that you are currently watching and thinking about playing. Okay. 
you're going to be able to put them into here. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And then we're going to merge Active Trader and everything like that. So uh, for starters, we're going to want to make sure that um, our first cell is linked to red number one. Okay. Um, we want to link our second cell um, to yellow number two. You got that? Yep. Okay. Now this isn't going to be chart. This is going to be active trader. Okay. Um, so on this uh, right toolbar, just make sure active traders clicked. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's going to be, so this is going to be our go-to set, right? We're going to have a chart right here where we're watching our play, whatever we think about getting into, whatever it might be. All right, and then we're going to have our active trader tools here, and this is going to allow us to get in and out of these scalps, place orders super easily, you know, all the things we're looking to do. Okay, so now we're going to put all this together, having a watch list here, right, having a chart that we're currently looking at, and active trader. So we got to go to trade, and then of course our chain's going to come up. Um, let's look for some spy, let's say on the fourth, right? Um, Oh, okay. I was like, why is it coming up with so little strikes? Make sure on strikes all is set. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's say um, we're thinking about getting on the put side. Uh, maybe we're looking at a uh, spy right at the beginning of the day. We saw this rage, right? But then we saw retracement here where we tried to bump out, retrace, tried to bump out, retrace the whole move again. We're like, dang, buyers are kind of weak, right? So maybe we want to go uh, sell side on this, right? So we're all the way up at 332, right? And we're like, all right, like I see some, um, right, it could possibly retrace this move, maybe get back into the 330s, right? So trade, and I'm gonna go to my 330 uh, chain. Okay, so what we do here, and once again, this is while we're, while the, you know, while the day's starting, or maybe before the day started, maybe you see uh, Neo starting to gap up pre-market, right? Um, but you can right click any, any options contract you want and go to add to watch list. And then what's our watch list called? Contracts. Look what it did. Nice. Now in this watch list, I wanna have a couple things. Um, last, like who cares what the last person bought it for? Net change is important, bid and ask, but there's some other things we want in here. So I would click this little gear next to ask. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to click that and click Customize. Okay, a couple things we're going to want. We want the high of that contract because do we ever want to buy it at the high? Nope. Nope, but we want to at least know where it is and have it easily visible. So I'll take high and then usually I like that to be like the first thing. Last, I get rid of. And then also we need the low of that contract because once again, we want to always try and buy it as close as we can to the low, right? Right, so those are the ones I usually have on there. High, low, net change, bid, and ask. Oh, oops, one more, mark. Right, we need the market uh, price for this thing. All right, so now we have our high, low, um, net change, bid, ask, and then of course the market. Um, so you can populate this, like I said, throughout the throughout the day, maybe pre-market, maybe at nighttime if that's what you you know if that's when you do your uh, you know your um, homework or whatever it might be, right? But either way, it makes it really really easy to not have to, right, for everything that I'm looking at for the day, I always have to go to trade, find the contract, <laughs> right? As in like the move's about to happen, we're calling it out, and you're like over here trying to look for it, right? Versus maybe um, Pilot said something at the beginning of the day, like, hey, we're looking for AMD if it crosses under 74, right? We want the $72 puts, right? 
And so you can already have those $72 puts ready to go in your watch list. That's awesome. You with me? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. I, I, I told you I'm sitting, so yeah, I, I need vocals. All right, so next up, what we got to do, um, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how we can move this now into active trade. Right, so let's say this, we see this move revving up, right? We see selling pressure coming in, maybe TTM squeeze, or you saw this first dip on the 50, and we're like, oh, cool, like I wanna take this, uh, this ride underneath the 50. Well, you would right click that contract, go to send to, and then yellow is what we tagged as the, uh, as the, uh, the link, right? And look what happens when we send it there. But your active trader populates with the contract, okay? So um, now most default, your, your, does your um, buttons have like 20, 50, 100 right here? Let me see. One, three, five, 10, 20. Let me bring it up on mine real quick. Uh, one, three, five, one, three, five, 10, 20. Okay. So it does have that. Okay. And then template, it has that. It says single. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now there's a couple things we're going to want to add to this right here. So what we're going to do is click this gear at the top, right? Okay. So we have a uh, buy market, sell market. Um, which is good, right? Because if I just want to sell or buy at the contract, you know, at what the market price is, um, I can just click that button right there. Uh, cancel will cancel any pending orders that you have. Um, reverse, I don't even use. Let's just remove that. Flatten will sell you out of all of your positions. Um, so if you ever just need an eject button, you can click flatten and it'll just sell you out of everything. Um, now, the other things we're going to want on here is uh, buy the bid. And sell the ask. Why do you think it's important to try and buy the bid or sell the ask? Uh, help you get in and out of the trades quicker. Uh, for the most profit. So if I have a contract up right here, right, and the bid is 5.13, ask is 5.16. Well, if I'm a buyer, I usually want to buy higher or lower? Lower, you want to buy the bid. That way I, yeah, have more room for, right? So let's say uh, an H is for me, like something like this, right? And we know it's going to break to the downside, we're expecting it and we want to scale in. Well, I can click join the bid, and as this is retracing, it'll fill me at the cheaper price of the bid, right? Because the bid is usually going to be, uh, right? It's going to, it's going to, like, that's going to be cheaper as the price is uh, going upwards on a put, right? So um, let's say I want to sell my, my uh, contract for the highest profit possible. Well, let's say we're on a dump move and I'm like, okay, like, right? I've had like, or two, right? Like this dump happened. And then the second dump is happening and you're like, all right, I want to get out on this second dump. But you can click sell ask or join the ask. And it will, if I'm already in possession of this contract, it'll try and sell it at the highest price possible while it's dumping. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So these little, these are just, these two right here are little cheat codes to where, all right, if I'm trying to scale in, I usually I'll join the bid before the move is happening. Right. Like Tessie does, he scales in. So mm -hmm. the and the bid is similar to like a, a trail buy where you are trying to buy the contract while it's still at its low before the move happens. Join the ask is going to let you sell the contract for the highest price that you can while the move is happening. Deal? Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Awesome. 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 All right. Next up, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to create some templates for you that are going to make your scalping way easier. Right, because once again, test. Uh, you know, somebody's calling out something on the uh, the Zoom call. It's kind of hard to be like, okay, let me go find that contract. Okay, I found it. I got to do a buy order, and then I need to sell orders. Right? Oh, wait, but I gotta 
right? And then you end up having to do a bunch of stuff and you can't watch your chart, right? Because you're doing all this stuff to create your buy order. And then you're like, what was that, 318? Okay, go get it. You missed the play. <laughs> the orders, right? And then I need to make these, uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want these to be, uh, you know, you, you feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah, by that time you missed the play. <laughs> Bro, and it's just so much brain power to like have to put all this stuff in. So I do like conditional orders, but conditional orders for me are like my downtime when I'm not in the market and I have speculative plays maybe that I want to get filled on the next day or something, or when they do hit that, that's when I'll use that underlying price, that conditional order. Um, usually for most of my scalping plays, I'm running it through Active Trader, just because everything's already set up for me. So what you're gonna do is where this template is, you're gonna click single and then click trigger with bracket. Okay. okay. Now what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring up your um, bracket order input, okay? So every order is going to have, it's supposed to have three things. What are those three things? I don't know. Every, <laughs> play in the markets. every play is supposed to have three things. An entry point, right? Yes. To the play. Your exit. Um, an exit strategy of where you're going to take profit at. And then also a most important one to keep, make sure your profit doesn't go, or sorry, make sure your, your no stop. right? Your stop loss. Yep. So no matter what, every play I get into in these markets, especially with them being so volatile, every single one has to have a entry point, a um, stop loss, and a profit target. Well, this trigger with bracket allows you to do that every time you place an order. Like there's literally now no excuse for you to not place an order with a stop loss and a profit target in it because it's all right here. Okay. And that, not, that template trigger with bracket, that's one that you created beforehand. This one we're going this one, this one to create together. Um, mm -hmm. Right? This, this is your call, lady. All we go, so my goal here is to help you with your strategy. So based on your risk management, what we're going to do is we're going to create some templates that you're going to always have access to. We're going to save them. So now when you're thinking about going into a play or whatever that might be, you can just click this template. On this active trader, right? Click buy the market or join the bid if you're trying to uh, get them get filled at a cheaper price, and then just let it ride. And your stop loss and your profit target is already there. And once again, don't forget. Let's say my profit target hasn't been hit, but I want to sell it. I can just click sell market or join the ask and look to sell these contracts before either of these are ever hit. Okay. The only time I'm guessing that those would lag or maybe not get filled is if it has obviously a wide spread, and which is why we don't like wide spreads. But yep, wide spread or just like a, a huge crazy move, um, right? Because uh, you know, and we'll we'll start talking about it. Okay, so the top one is going to be your profit taking uh, order. Sorry. Okay. That's why it's called a limit order, okay? Uh, now, usually what I like to do is make these based on percentages. So instead of having the plus or minus or the stair step, I want the, um, for the percentage sign, okay? So ideally, I know we've been talking a lot about this in the Discord, right? What's our percentage mark that we're looking to take profit on? 25. 25, right? So, and I wanna make sure that in that, um, here actually, so you just, you don't have me standing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, right, 25%, right? So, plus 25, right? Meanwhile, um, our stop loss, uh, I always recommend, right, do like a 10, maybe 15% stop loss. Um, that way you're not, right, your risk to reward is, is, is a little bit better, right? Um, the whole goal of, uh, of trading, right, is to when, when you win, right, versus when you lose, you want to like lose less than when you win, right? So this 
helps you do that, right? Because I can only lose about 15% of my capital on every play. Meanwhile, I have a profit target of 25. If I can do that a couple times a day, right, and you can achieve the 25% with uh, high probability plays, then my, account, my account's compounding, okay? Now, there's also trail stop here. So a lot of people are asking or get confused with how to place trail stop orders. You don't have to anymore. It's right here, right? Do you know the difference between a stop and a trail stop though? Um, yeah, I mean the trail, I mean a, a stop is like a fixed price or a fixed target, right? And the trail stop mm -hmm. will trail it up if it keeps going up. And then if it, you know, starts coming down and it hits the trail stop, it'll stop there. Yep. Exactly. Right. So um, you can do either one stop or a trail stop. Um, just depends on your preference. Usually if I do a trail stop, um, I mean, I, I prefer the regular stop. The reason why personally is just because uh, when you place orders, uh, you can move your trail stop um, on the chart. Have you ever noticed that? Where if you um, a, or a stop I up. haven't. C can you move an? Can you move an actual? Just a regular stop, or you can only move a trail stop. No, you can't move a trail stop because that's following the percentage. So okay, so you meant the, the stop. You can. Yeah, move. yeah. You can move your stop though. Yeah, it'll show up as an order right here. It says like a uh, sell. Yeah, cool. Yep, and then Flat. you can click it, hold it, and move it to a certain level or something if you'd like. I've tried to do it, and can you do that with the buy also, or just the stop? Uh, just the, an active, an active trader, just the sell. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try that. Cause I know it, it pops up with like the little X, um, and it lets you like exit out or mm -hmm. move it once and it, it didn't do it, but, um, I just go back and do it myself. Yeah, that's, yep. That's, I mean, that's another way to do it. Right. So let's say you have a stop on there. <laughs> But then maybe at a certain point in the day, you're like, okay, you know what? I want to move this to a trail stop, right? But you can, um, right, click here, go to sell, single. Oops, I got another order in there, All right? Right, and then make this a trail stop. All right, so while a play is going, let's say you started out with just a regular stop loss, right? But then you're into profits and you're like, all right, I like this profit I'm in, right? So let me, um, right, create a, stale, a trail stop at a, right, minus 15%, right? So then while this is going on, right, I already have my order in, things are already going my way, but I can submit a trail stop order uh, of the market, you know, on the market price, right? And then maybe click that, send that through. It'll cancel my stop loss and replace it with my trail stop that trails my profits as they're going. Got it. Right, so that's a little cheat code too, right? Because I like to, because it's hard sometimes, and you know it, like you have that trail stop on, you get kicked out on a retrace right, right away on a zero day, right? It's kind of annoying. So that's why I like this. It's like, okay, you at least have your stop there to make sure that if you made the wrong call on the move, right, at least protects your capital. But then once you get into profits, right, because I have my watch list right here, I already have the, the uh, contract in my possession, right, I can sell that bad boy, right, throw a stop or trail stop on there at a certain percentage and make sure I'm taking home uh, that, that profit. And so typically with the, the trail stops, and I'm going to ask you about trail buys after, but um, so typically with the trail stops, it's always a per, where, well, in general, I guess everyone does it probably different, but um, typically we're doing the percentage off of the contract price, right? Or is it off of the stock price? The contract price. Okay. Yep. This is following the contract, right? So if let's say I place this order, right? And then that, um, that got to, I don't know, maybe 15% up, right? Well, I could, right, set that trail stop for 10%, and then at the worst case, it'll kick me out, and I'll take 5% home. Best case, right, this thing starts to move to my 20% stop, or sorry, 20% limit order, right? And let's say it gets just shy of it, right? It gets like 20, maybe it hits like, maybe it hits the 25%, but doesn't fill you quite yet, and then reverses on you. 
Well, because you started a, because you put a trail stop in there at ten percent, you would be out of that play with fifteen percent gain. Make sense? Yep. Yep. So this comes in handy uh, after your play's matured a little bit, right? So it's got right, it started to move. Um, I, I had to stop on there regular. I'll move that right. I'll set a trail stop order. Send that out and replace my stop with a trail stop so I can guarantee I have to take home profits, right? Once I've cleared more than my stop loss and profit, I guarantee that I take home profit with a, with a trail stop. Always a good day. Yep, always, right? Always a good day, always a good play, right? So let's save this one right here. Um, and we're gonna save this as, a, so we're gonna click this button right here save custom order template, right? And this is gonna be our 25 TP uh, 15 ST, right? 25 take profit, 15 stop loss, or SL, I don't know, whatever you want. 15 S, there you go, right? And then we save, right? So anytime I'm right running the play, right? I can easily right click this, send to yellow, it's gonna populate it right here. Right, I'll go to template, right? Because usually it'll, it'll populate a single. Find my 25 TP, 15 stop loss, buy market. So that's when you want to get in quick, you'll just hit that buy market. Mm -hmm. Yep, because that'll fill you at the market price, which is the, diff the middle of these two numbers right here. This shows up as their last, for some reason, so the last time a contract was bought or sold and the price it was sold for, that's what this number is. It does not reflect your price. Your price is reflect. It doesn't show up on Active Trader. That's one thing that sucks. It shows up here, right? Because this is the these are the bids. These are the asks. So the middle of that right now is uh, right here at three fourteen. Right. Okay. So this will show you the price of your contract, not this number right here. This shows you the last contract that was sold or bought. Okay. So. This is awesome for me because like I said, I, it's just right, the quickest thing ever, right? I can, I have uh, my lot sizes, um, right? I can buy it easily, uh, right? I can set a stop or a trail stop depending on how I wanna play it. Um, and so what I recommend is start a couple of these up, right? So usually I have a 15 take profit. Um, sometimes for zero days because they're so volatile, I'll do like a 20, or sorry, a 25% um, stop. Right, but then of course I'm looking for using a little bit more of a pump right here. It's like 50% take profit, right? And then just start to figure out what your risk tolerance is. And um, right, uh, right. So this is 50 TP, 25 S. Save, right? And then I like I said, now I have all these different variations, right? Now another thing you can do is let's say you want to place an order. Um, or uh, with just a, uh, what am I trying to say? With just a, a, a stop loss on it. Well, when trigger with bracket, if this top bracket is not clicked, your take profit is not engaged, only your stop loss, vice versa. If this one is clicked and this one isn't, then you have a profit target um, order Right, let's say, I don't know, 15%, but no stop loss. Now, of course, all of our plays, we really wanna make sure we have both, um, but I don't know if there's ever a circumstance where you might not wanna, no, I can't really think of one. I don't even know if I'm just looking at well, Back in the old market days, maybe, but. <laughs> yeah, but now, right, we wanna be playing, we wanna be playing uh, really smart. So uh, now once you evolve this, uh, you can actually start to do some gnarly things with this. So, um, of course, we have our like first triggers OCO, but really I like these trigger with two brackets. So let's say I want to scale in with two contracts. Well, I can maybe have this first one, right? Uh, take my profit at twenty five percent, like I'm supposed to, right? And then maybe I want my second one to take profit at fifty percent. Right, and both of them to have, or maybe I want the one that I want to last longer. Um, right, I'll get this one a, a maybe just like a regular stop loss at like twenty percent. Right, and this one I want to have like a tight stop loss at like um, fifteen. Or this one maybe I want to have a trail stop on. 
versus this one, just a regular stop. So you can customize these, right? Save these. So then when you scale in, let's say you do more than one contract. Now, you know, everybody talks about like, I want to be able to take profit and leave a runner. Mm -hmm. You can do that on your own, right? So this would be like a what, 25 slash 50, take profit, um, 15 slash 20, stop. Right, so then let's say I'm doing four contracts, right? We'll break it up two and two, right? You're doing three contracts, and then, then you can prepare for your runners, right? Like I wanna have, you can even do a um, trigger with three brackets, right? Let's say I do six contracts, I wanna peel them off two at a pop, right? I wanna take this one when it's 15% profit, take this one when it's 25% profit, and take this one when it's 35% profit. Right, with stop losses, um, Right, with stop losses, losses on each. Um, right, maybe on this, it's like, all right, I don't want to do a percentage stop loss. I'm willing to lose a hundred dollars at the most on each of these. So right. then you can use yep. sign, right? Uh, you well, this is this is if you didn't want to use the percentage sign at the bottom, right? If you wanted to make it based on like the premium, right? Let's say, all right, I'm gonna pay five point four or five point one four. I'm willing to lose a hundred bucks on each of these, um, right? Per these to, to, to see if my, my plan plays out, right? Cause some people like to use uh, stops based on the amount of, right? The price of the, um, or the amount of money they'll, they're willing to risk on it, right? Um, others, uh, of course, you know, you can do, I'm just showing you the, how you can customize things in here. Yeah, I know, that's awesome. Yeah, so there's a lot of, yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do with it. Um, All right, trail stop on these two, regular stop on that one. You can do all kinds of stuff. So um, any questions about Active Trader? Because I wanted to, it seems like you, you got a good feel on like what you're doing. Now it's just being able to kind of execute these plays, um, like you said, quickly. Yep. No, that was good. That, that answered everything I needed to know about it. Now it's just playing it. I'll probably just. Yeah. And this is going to be clutch for you. Watch list with your contracts in it. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> that yeah, that part is, um, that's one of my edges right there, right? Because I'll just, right, start accumulating. Maybe I look at my SPY levels and I'm like, okay, it could hit this or it could hit that. And just have both contracts sitting here ready to go, right? So the second I need them, um, I can just uh, pull them in.